Okay, race 35, the Master Smudge Maiden Chase. Long one, this one, three miles, two furlongs. Number one is another world for Carla Argenti. Two is Holland of Stu Gray. Three, Pig in a Basket for Carla Argenti. Four, Sphinx Princess for Darren House. Five, Black Absolute for Alex Cherry. Lady Sphinx is number six for Darren House. And seven is Olga Barris over for Martinian. So just seven of them. Olga Barris over the 15 to 8 favourite here for Martin. We're looking to pick up this small maiden here. A reasonable bunch of uh, trainers. All got a couple in. Again, he's got a couple on it. Darren Howes with two in it. Which just leaves myself, Martin, and Alex to challenge the rest. As we come to the first, it's Pig in a Blanket, or in a Basket, <laughs> and another world that lead us, the Carl Arianti horses. And they're already four legs ahead of the Sphinx Princess, Honda against the fence. That one is Olga Barris Sova. The Sphinx of Black Absolute, just at the rear is Lady Sphinx. Finally, going to get to this first fence. Where are we? And there it is. Leaders are over it. There's the remainder. And it's pig in a basket from another world. Into the second. Not too daunting, these fences here. We've already been dragged out into Indian farm. It's pig in a basket by about three to another world. There's a further three to four from Black Absolute. They are Indian farm. Sphinx Princess Hollander, Olga Barris over and Lady Sphinx. So we're we'll into the fourth. 22 to jump here. I'm not sure how many of these are new horses. I know my horse Holland is a, an upload as they go over the water. He's not a bad horse. Three miles two might be a little bit too far for him. But anyway, Pig in a Basket is leading us from another world of Black Absolute together. Fourth place is Sphinx Princess, then Olga Barris over the favourite from Hollander and Lady Sphinx. season. Looks like he's got some decent horses as well. There's Pig in a Basket in this race that leads us from another world. Black Absolute, Olga Barasova, Sphinx Princess, Hollander and Lady Sphinx. So we're two miles still to travel. one is Hollander. Oh, getting pulled up 13 furlongs. Bad luck. Frustra oh, and Olga Barrasso went through that pretty poorly, as did Black Absolute. Get to the 11th. We'll jump a little bit better. Olga Barrasso was slow over it. So I'm right, just getting over Hollander being pulled up. Frustrated. We'll get to the 12th. Everybody gets over that as well. Although Lady Sphinx was over a little bit poor. So we'll all be wanting it to get on now. furlong pull up moment. Uh, it was very early for my horse. Frustrating. Over the 14s. Worse than a pull up. Sorry, right, it's injured. But it is frustrating. Let's see what happens when we have a race kit in uh, SO7. But it's pig in a basket and another world. Getting closer is Olga Barrasova. A little bit away from Sphinx Princess, Black Absolute, and Lady Sphinx. Coming down to oh, well, there's the one, and it is another world that's getting pulled up for Carl Arganti. It was handy to put two in a race because Carl Arganti still leads with Pig in a Basket by about three to Olga Barisova. Down to five now, so you'll all get some money. Pig in a Basket leads over the 15th, all up and over. 
over it. Oh, let's take it again a little bit closer. Order now, Sphinx. It says Black Absolute and Lady Sphinx. Pick it up, basket. Takes the 16th well. This is the remainder. Black Absolute is a little bit slow. A bit swift into the 17th. The bridle now picking a basket. Wants it in, uh, ominously. Is Olga Barris over on his uh, hind? They're about four lengths away from Black Absolute Sphinx Princess and Lady Sphinx are all under pressure now. They go over the 18th. We've got four to jump and it's pig in a basket still. Leads by a couple as he pulls away from Olga Barris over here. Black Absolute running on. The two Sphinxes, Princess and Lady, are not going to win from there. But it's pig in a basket that takes us around this bend inside the four furlongs now. Jockey gives him a little nudge approaching. Has a quick look round. He's got a four length advantage from Olga Barris over. Running on Black Absolute Sphinx Princess and Lady Sphinx have got a lot to do from there as they get down to the three furlongs. It's Pig in a Basket from Olga Barasova. It's between these two I imagine but Pig in a Basket's still got an advantage. Olga Barasova doesn't appear to be making up the ground so it's Pig in a Basket. They line up for the judge. They go on oh, a fast jump there and a poor jump by Pig in a Basket has allowed Olga Barasova to take it up just purely on a poor jump. They're over the last but both slow and this time it's Pig in a Basket that's got the advantage. We're inside a furlong and a half. There's one left to jump. It's Olga Barasova. Pig in a Basket. They're over the 21st. There's one more to jump inside the final furlong. Olga Barasova is pulling away here from Pig in the Basket. He's only going to step over this. He does. Pig in the Basket's going to try and chase him down. I think Olga Barasova, or is he? Olga Barasova's given up the ghost. Pig in the Basket's pulling alongside. Pig in the Basket closes in front. Pig in the Basket takes it from Olga Barasova. Martin will be furious. That's as bad as a pull up being beaten on the line like that. Nothing more frustrating, although I know Carl uh, suffered a bit of that from a couple of my horses last week. And I know uh, Martin, I think, did it to Doug as well. So he's the most frustrating. But it gives us an idea how, how close all our horses are. Anyway, picking a basket takes the maiden from Carl Arroganti. Second is Olga Barris over for Martin Leadham. Third was Sphinx Princess. And fourth with Lady Sphinx. Lady Sphinx was Darren Howes. And fifth was Black Absolute for Alex Cherry.